Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Design. Today I'm going to talk about my trip traveling to Nigeria. It has been a long time we have traveled since the pandemic started. So I just took a video of my daughter rolling her hand luggage going to the flight. We took Emirates Airline. So this is it, she's rolling her hand luggage all the way to the flight. From there, we travel all the way to Lagos. If you don't know Lagos, there is a picture coming on the way. So I was inside the flight when I took this picture. So this is how Lagos is when you took a picture inside the flight. From there, we take another flight. We travel to my state, which is Benin City, Edo State. So that is where I am from. I took a video how the plane landed and then turned over and then everyone can then come down and go to their various destination. So this is how I took the video all the way until all get down. The next day I went to the market, I bought some mango, there are different kinds of mango. And this orange thing right here, we call it OTM. Whatever name is called in your country, put it on the comment section. We also call it sherry. So this is what I bought. I love fruit. And I also bought this amugen. Whatever name is called in your country, put it on the comment section. This amugen, my daughter haven't eaten it before. So the first time of her eating it. And I also bought a shower shop, which it tastes so, so, so super good. So when you eat your sherry or oatmeal, so this is how it is when you eating it. It has seeds inside, have four seeds or three seeds or five seeds. So these are the seeds inside the oatmeal or sherry. And I also bought some bobozi. If you don't know what is bobozi, it's made with cassava and some pear there are different kinds of pear in nigeria there are this pear which you can use it to eat corn and this other pear but basically this is used to eat corn and it tastes so 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 super good and i also bought walnuts i love eating walnut a lot so i bought this when i was in the car all those hawkers on the car so i bought it from there and this is how it is inside the next day I went to buy some wood for a project and my daughter saw a mango tree. She was so obsessed with that and the owner of the mango tree had to, you know, gave us some ripe mango. This is where she took a picture of the mango and this mango is tastes so good. So we call this Edo mango. Edo mango is different from every other mango. So this is it when the guy you know, pluck some mango and give it to us. On our way, and I found this chicken, you know, roaming on the street, eating green grass with no, it's not fed with hormones or any chemical. And I also found this goat eating the grass with not fed with chemical or hormones. If you eat chicken, goat meat outside the country, you will know that the tastes are very different. It's so different. And this other cog you can see roaming on the street, not fed with hormones or any chemical. The taste is so good than the one you eat outside the country that is fed with hormones and chemical. If you are in a dose state, please don't take all this outside bike ride. That. The way they drive is so dangerous. I would recommend you shouldn't. It is better you take a cab that is more safe. The way they drive is very dangerous. And this is a statue of the king, someone paying homage to the king. And I went to the market and I saw the snail. We have two different kinds of snail in Nigeria. We have big ones and small ones. The small one, basically we use it to cook soup. And I bought some shrimp. We also have different kinds of shrimp in Nigeria. We have big ones and small ones. So this is the big one that I'm buying in Nigeria. And I also bought some hot pepper, very spicy pepper, which I will take down with me. And we are taking a walk along inside the market to see whatever we need so that we can shop then and bring it down. 
and I bought some vegetables. So uh, you can see I'm holding the vegetable. The lady will slice the vegetables and I will dry it and then bring it down. And I also bought some melo. This is the white one is the melo, white. The other one is ogbolo. So we also call it the melo one, we call it ogi. And I went to New Bini Market whereby I bought some beads. This lady sells beads. We buy beads from her before. So we went there over again to buy some beads. And we also take a picture of the market whereby people sitting waiting for customers, as you can see right here. And we take a walk all the way. I'm going to my old boss place. I used to sell African wask print. I was once a sales girl. So this is it. She's so happy to see me. Everyone is so happy hugging me, asking me, where is my daughter? She's like, come and hug me, come and hug me. She's so nice. And I was hugging everyone and they came and hugged me. All the people that know me before, where I used to sell for her, you know, she's a nice person. She's so kind. So if you're kind to someone, you will always go there. So that is what happened. As you can see, I keep going there. Whenever I go to Nigeria, I will go there to visit her. So if you are in Edo State and you want to shop African wax print, please go to her shop. She is in African line. If you are in New Bini Market, you go to African line, ask of Mama Chichi. She has all kinds of African prints, Nigeria prints, lace, tie dye, anything you want, you will find it there. She's so nice. She's the nice person you can ever meet. This is us about to leave taking pictures together. After that, the next day, we all travel down to Lagos. You know, that is the day we are leaving Nigeria. This is Lagos airport the next day and then this is my we arrive in dubai and this is my fabric that i bought i bought a lot 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 of fabric so many african wax fabric as you can see right on this video so if you are interested on in buying African wax fabric, visit my website www.helloangel.design. You will find different kinds of African wax fabric. I bought some fabric from her and also bought some fabric from other people. And this is a tie that, that I bought. It's so beautiful. And this lace, I bought it from someone else. This fabric that you are showing right here, I bought it from her. You know, I bought so many fabric. And I also bought that green lace. It's so beautiful. And I also bought the orange lace. Same design, both the green and the orange. I bought it from my old boss. So this is my trip going to Nigeria and coming back to Dubai. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please don't forget to thumbs up on our video make a comment down below if you have any question to ask about me and thank you all so much for watching this video if you want me to make a video about nigeria immigration what i go through as a nigeria citizen <laughs> please put it on the comment section i am so delighted to tell you what i experienced over there as a nigeria you know thank you all so much for watching have a beautiful day have a wonderful day have a blessed day bye